Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India friends welcome back in our previous lecture we were discussing about how cl alpha of an aerofoil and wing differs when we say wing we know it's it's of finite aspect ratio so we have derived a relationship between the cl alpha of aerofoil and cl alpha of wing Let us say this is your zero lift line. Angle of attack is defined with respect to the zero lift line of an aircraft. And say this is your CL, y axis represents your CL variation and alpha is along the x axis here, right. This is this is for aspect ratio infinite right say this this curve represents the variation of lift coefficient with angle of attack for an aerofoil right now let us say this is for a finite aspect ratio wing which is ar1 This represents the CL alpha curve for wing with aspect ratio 2. Wing with aspect ratio AR2, right. Now, say this is your increasing order of aspect ratio, ok. Now, let us assume we have used the same aerofoil to build a wing, right. And what should be my angle of attack for aerofoil to achieve a particular CL and what should be the corresponding angle of attack for let us say if I want to achieve a particular CL what should be the angle of attack that I need to trim my aircraft for an aerofoil and for that of a wing right. So, let us say this is your required CL say C design CL or CL required. So, for this particular curve say I require this angle of attack which is alpha naught. So, alpha naught represents the angle of attack required by this aerofoil to achieve this particular CL right. So, this is your alpha naught right. Now, let A naught be the CL alpha curve for this aerofoil where A naught is equals to D C L by D alpha of aerofoil that is C L alpha which is 2 D. Now, let us assume we have built a wing using this particular aerofoil without any geometric twist and aerodynamic twist right. Now, what happens if I want to achieve the same C L here right. I need to trim the aircraft at a angle of attack right let us say this be alpha right this point represents alpha comma 0 right? so, this point represents 0 comma CL design ok. Now, for a wing we have an increased angle of attack compared to that of an aerofoil this increment is due to the induced angle of attack which we have witnessed during our previous lecture alpha i right where this alpha i according to lifting line theory is equals to C L by phi e a r, where e is the Oswald's efficiency factor and a r is the aspect ratio v square by s, both are non-dimensional parameters here. 
Now the CL design or the CL you can achieve by aerofoil since it is a straight line we can assume this is in the linear domain of angle of attack or the variation of CL with angle of attack is linear up to this say whatever the CL that we have considered is in the linear domain. Okay. So, now from the straight line equation we have y is equal to mx plus c that c l is equals to c is 0 here y intercept since we are defining this angle of attack with respect to 0 left line. So, a naught is the slope of this curve times the corresponding x alpha naught here. So, this is achieved by aerofoil right. The same c l I can achieve by the wing say a is the lift curve slope of this particular aerofoil uh, particular wing let a be the lift curve slope which is 3D lift curve slope where a is equals to d c l by d alpha this c l alpha 3D. So, capital L here represents capital C L represents 3D lift curve slope C L alpha so where a small C L represents for 2D C L alpha here. Okay. So, this equals to slope of this wing lift curve slope of this wing multiplied by the corresponding x that is alpha here. Right. So, this alpha is alpha naught plus alpha i right. So, this say this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. Now, comparing 1 and 2, since we are producing that same design CL by using a aerofoil and wing. So, the lift is same in either the case. So, from this equation 1 and 2, what we have is A naught is equal A naught into alpha naught is equals to A into alpha naught plus alpha i. From here, A naught is equals to A into 1 plus alpha i divided by alpha naught. Okay. This implies a naught is equals to a into 1 plus what is alpha i? i here is C l divided by pi e a r. Okay. This equals to a naught is equals to a into 1 plus what is C l? So, we can achieve C L from this aerofoil by trimming it at a particular alpha naught right. So, that means the C L that I can achieve here is by A naught into alpha naught from the aerofoil into alpha naught this implies a naught is equals to a into 1 plus a naught by pi e a r a is equals to a naught by 1 plus a naught by pi e a r which is C L alpha C L alpha 3 D is equals to C L alpha 2 D by 1 plus C L alpha of aerofoil. So, this is well valid in the subsonic flight regimes. Right. <coughs> this is a relationship between wing C L alpha and airfoil C L alpha. Now, let us look at some of the now let us look at some of this uh, some of some uh, some of these aerofoils and their lifting characteristics. Right. So, this data that we are going to present is obtained from the wind tunnel test. Uh, so, the reference that you can consider for this is theory of wing sections by Abbott. So, the first aerofoil here we also discussed this during our earlier example. It is an ARCA 24 12 aerofoil. Now, the question is 
how to calculate CL alpha, right? How this data is obtained? You can see here. So this is obtained for different Reynolds number, which means assume that you have used the same aerofoil, but you have performed this test as different velocities inside a wind tunnel. So in let us dedicate one lecture for uh, one lecture to measure to figure out how to measure this. CL, CL, uh, CD, and CM from wind tunnel test, right? Or say how how a wind tunnel test is performed, how these measurements were taken for aerofoil as well as wing. Now here, let us consider any one of these Reynolds number. Say it is three million Reynolds number here in the first. So the corresponding marker here is the circle. So we need to follow the circle data to achieve. The corresponding characteristics at three million Reynolds number, right? So now the question is how to find what CL naught, CL alpha, alpha max, alpha stall, CL max, right? Alpha at which CL is zero. How to find CL naught of aerofoil? CL alpha of airfoil and alpha at which CL is zero and CL max of airfoil and alpha stall and so on, right? So given the data, let us see how to get these parameters. Now, coming back to this two four one two data. We know what is two four one two, right? <coughs> Just a quick recap: the two represents the maximum camber, maximum camber in percentage of core, right? Four represents location of maximum camber. Maximum camber in tens of chord. That is C by ten. And twelve represents maximum thickness in percentage of chord. See, so this is equals to maximum thickness location is maximum thickness is point two. C for this particular area foil, and the lo corresponding location is 0.4 C, and the maximum thickness is 0.12 C, which is 12 percent here. Now, now what is CL not? CL at which alpha is zero. Now let us look at the angle of attack at which. Uh, so this is your zero angle of attack. You can see here. Now let us take the corresponding. Value of CL that should be your CL naught. So the corresponding value is something here, which is say. So this y-axis represents the section lift coefficient here, CL, right? So this is your zero CL, and there is an increment to point four here that you can see. So till that increment, there are four steps, which means this each line corresponds to point one CL here. So The corresponding CL naught from here we can notice it as CL naught is so which is two dimensional CL naught is point two one approximately which is approximately right and say how to find out the CL alpha here right so we'll find out CL alpha while solving some some of these examples okay. Now, let us say how far this CL alpha is linear. So, for this particular curve, which is a uh, which is achieved by performing this test at 0.3 mil uh, 3 million Reynolds number, say up to here. So, up to here, it looks pretty linear, which is approximately 9-10 degrees angle of attack. Right. up to 10 degrees angle of attack this curve looks pretty linear 
which you can model it as Cl is equals to Cl naught plus Cl alpha into alpha. Right. So this particular regime you can consider the linear variation of Cl with angle of attack. And now we have to look at alpha at which Cl is zero. This is your origin, say zero zero. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now this is your origin. Now you need to find out alpha at which C L is 0. That means this is a point where C L is 0. Right? This is the point where C L is 0. So the corresponding angle of attack for this is approximately minus 2 degrees. Right? So alpha at which C L is equal to 0 is minus 2 degrees. This particular airfoil stalls at an angle of attack approximately 15 degrees. Right? Alpha stall is approximately 15 degrees. And the corresponding value of CL is 1.6. So CL, CL 2D max is. 1.6 cd is equals to cd naught plus k cl square right now we this this particular plot represents the variation of cd with clc it's almost parabolic variation so this particular equation or this particular formulation will definitely fit this particular uh, this data cd uh, whatever the data internal data that you have obtained here now what is cd not the profile rack here which is at cl is equals to 0 so what is cl0 here so this is your cl0 and the corresponding rack coefficient is 0 0.1 approximately so cd not from of this aerofoil is 0.01. So you see, the, this is a moment about aerodynamic center, variation of moment about aerodynamic center with CL, right? Although the lift changes, when do lift changes? When the angle of attack changes. Lift coefficient is changing when the angle of attack changes, right? So here, as, so this we can infer as as the angle of attack changes or and hence the CL changes, the pitching moment almost remain constant. See, it's a constant value. Although there is a variation in CL, the value of this pitching moment remain constant at about C by 4. This the corresponding aerodynamic center for this is C by 4. So this moment is about C by 4, quarter chord of that aerofoil. So the value of this is about minus 0 0.04. So CM about AC of aerofoil is 0.04 right minus 0.04 please make a correction it's minus 0.04 which means it's a positively cambered aerofoil so post for positively cambered aerofoils the cmac is negative right. now let's go to the next data set which is 4415 it's again a four series aerofoil so you can see here So this is the variation of CL, CM with alpha and here to the right you have CL, CD, CD, CM variation with CL, right. Here what will be the CL naught for this aerofoil? CL naught of this aerofoil is 0.4. So let us look at the next aerofoil which is also a 4 digit a Naka 4415 airfoil. Right. So, we know the maximum camber is 0.4 c here and the location of 0.04 c and the location of maximum camber is about 40 percent of the chord 
and the maximum thickness is 15 percent of the cord. Right. Now, for this aerofoil what will be my C L naught? So, we need to select first the Reynolds number of our interest let us say 3 million is, a, is our uh, current interest 3 million Reynolds number is of a current, current interest and the corresponding C L at which alpha is 0 which is our C L naught is approximately 0.4. So, this 0.3 million corresponds to this data that is plotted with the circular marker. So, this corresponding C L naught is 0.4. In our previous example and say and the curve what is alpha at which C L is equals to 0 for this aerofoil. So, this is approximately minus 4 degrees. This is the point at which this curve touches the x axis which is like C L is equals to 0 and the corresponding angle is minus 4 degrees. And we have to figure out what is the C L max of this say what now can we can we identify the linear regime of angle of attack. So, for this circular marker the one which is above here the one yeah, this is the C L versus alpha data at 0.3 million Reynolds at 3 million Reynolds number right. So, here we can observe this is linear up to say this particular point beyond which there is a slightest non-linearity and then a stall occurs at is alpha of 15 degrees Fourteen degrees, say we can say, alpha stall is approximately fourteen degree, and this is your point for CL naught. That is point four alpha. We have CL max, which is in this case, which in this case is. 1.5 fifty one point five around right and what is the CL so what is the linear range of this CL variation with angle of attack so from zero if you can observe from this plot it is it is varying from minus two in fact right or minus four degrees minus four degrees to approximately 10 degrees. So, alpha even for minus 8 degrees minus minus 8 and minus 10 degrees it is still behaves linear here minus 12 degrees it still behaves linear. So, less than or equal to minus 10 let us say alpha 10 and minus 10 these are the boundaries of linear regime of angle of attack. Right. So, and the corresponding C D value for this is C D naught if you want to find C D naught the C L is 0 at this particular location. So, this is this is approximately for point for 3 million Reynolds number it is point zero zero seven nine or eight that is C D naught is approximately zero point zero zero eight for an airfoil right and what is the C M error about aerodynamic center C M about A C is equals to point one minus point minus 0 0.1 approximately right. So, you can see here with angle of attack for in the linear regime of angle of attack the C m almost remains constant with angle of attack right in this linear domain. So, 
the aerodynamic center about we can consider this ref moment reference point as aerodynamic center why because the pitching moment is remained almost constant with angle of attack in this particular race so this is the cm variation with angle of attack similarly there is a 5 series aerofoil 23012 you can also find cl not cl alpha so the cl not for this conf for this aerofoil is about 0.1 and cl alpha is about 6.4 6.45 we'll find out how uh, we'll figure out how to find cl alpha when solving some examples the alpha stall in this case is about 15 degrees and cl max is 1.5 and the corresponding cl max is 1.5 at alpha stall of 15 degrees and cm about aerodynamic center is minus 0.0125 so we are talking about 3 million 3 million reynolds number data at 3 million reynolds number. and cd not is 0.07 and alpha at which cl becomes 0 is minus 2 degrees in this case. and there is another 5 series aerofoil 23018 you can see the pitching moment is constant almost constant cm variation with cl is constant here if you can see so and the corresponding value is almost zero here 0.01 say 0.01 in the cd not value for this particular 23018 aerofoil is approximately 0.007 which is almost same as 23012 and 23018 so although there is a inc increment thick increase in the thickness ratio t by c but there is no increase in drag drag coefficient profile drag coefficient now comes a six series aerofoil see there is a huge difference the main thing that we can notice is a drag bucket this is what we discussed in our earlier lectures so in our previous case where the cd versus cl if you look at see drag polar plot there is no significant significant drag bucket you can't witness a significant although for some portion it may remain constant almost constant but not exactly the same as what we are witnessing at six series of foil right so right from here we don't see a significant drag bucket but for the six series of foils you can see the cd almost remains constant with with variation of cl or angle of attack here and similarly you can find out for this 6641212 aero foil you have alpha cl not is 0.1 and alpha at which cl becomes zero is minus 1 degrees and cl max is approximately 1.5 and the alpha stall is 15 degrees this is 1.5 and the corresponding alpha stall here is approximately 15 degrees right and cm about ac is minus 0.025 so the value that you get cm at different alpha is this is cm at alpha 0 right this is cm at cl 0 now similar track bucket we can also observe with 653418 aero foil now let us look at this significance of this subscript 3 here right now from the nomenclature 65418 we can find out what is the design cl for this particular aerofoil which is cl design of this aerofoil is 0.4 right this 4 represents in tens of i mean 4 multiplied by 1 by 10 represents the corresponding design cl of this aerofoil now let us take this 0.4 here consider 0.4 cl and say now this subscript 3 represents the regime in which cd remains constant right for about this cl cl design which is plus or minus 0.3 of this cl design 
plus or minus 0.3 of this CL design. So, in this regime C CD will almost remain constant. Let us see whether it is true or not. So, 0.4 minus 0.3 is 0.1 approximately. So, up to this point the CD is almost flat that is CL design minus 0.3 and then say CL design plus 0.3 is 0.7. So, we can also consider this regime as a constant CD regime. Right? So, this is the significance of this drag bucket here. Right? That happens, this you can there is a significant drag bucket for 6 series aerofoil, and the nomenclature will help you to select the corresponding aerofoil based upon your CL design. Let us take up few examples to find the relationship between wing CL alpha and aerofoil CL alpha. Let us take the first example. Consider the following data of a wing alone UAV. So, there is some dimensional data is given here, which is B is 10 meters, area platform area is 11 meters square, and the Oswald's efficiency is 0.75, and CD naught of the wing total UA, UAV is given as 0 0.02. Right? Assume an ACA 2412 aerofoil is used to develop this UAV, or since it is a wing alone, we can say develop this wing. Find CL CD of the UAV at alpha is equals to 3 degrees, 5 degrees, and 7 degrees. When you say CL CD here is for the entire UAV, right? And now, how to solve this question? So, CL is equals to CL naught plus CL alpha into alpha of the wing. And what is CD? Once you have CL, you if you know CD naught, KCL square, right? You, you can use drag polar of the wing, and you can find the corresponding CD at this particular CL, right? So what is this C, CD naught is given, right? So CD naught is given as 0 0.02, and K can we find K here? Induced drag correction factor, 1 by pi e AR, right? So, we know we have span and area, platform area. We need to find what is the corresponding aspect ratio. What is aspect ratio here? AR is equals to B square by S, 10 square divided by 11, that is 9.09. Right. So, 1 by pi E AR is? So, 1 by pi into 0.75 into 9.09 that is 0 0.0466 this is the value of k. Now, you know what is k, you know what is cd naught, what is cd naught here 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0466 into cl square. Now, for different values of CL, you will get the corresponding CD. So, when do you get different values of CL? When you have different angle of attack, say 3 degrees, 5 degrees and 7 degrees here. But you need to find out what is the CL alpha of this wing and CL naught of this wing. Right? For that, the information given is, this is made out of 2412, NACA 2412 airfoil. So, if we go back to NACA 2412 airfoil here, what is CL naught of this airfoil? which is 0.21. So, CL naught I can write down here as CL naught of airfoil is 0 0.21, right? And alpha at which CL is equals to 0 is minus 2 degrees, which is this point, this particular point. At this point we have CL naught. And what is CL alpha of this plot? Say this plot we can safely assume a linear till 8 degrees angle of attack, right. So, C L alpha 2 D is equals to C L at alpha is equals to 8 degrees minus C L at alpha is equals to 0 divided by 8 degrees minus 0 into pi by 180, you will get it in radians, right. So, what is CL at 8 degrees? CL at 8 degrees is 1.1 approximately. So, this particular point is 
this particular point is 1.1. 1 .1. One point one. So CL comma alpha you have at alpha is equals to eight degrees. What you have is one point one and at alpha is equals to zero degrees, what you have is zero point two one comma zero. So by using this, since it is a straight uh, linear equation, we can find the slope of this curve. Right, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Cl alpha 2d of aerofoil is equals to Cl value at 8 degrees, Cl value at alpha is equals to 8 degrees minus Cl value at alpha is equals to 0 by 8 degrees. So, per degrees I am converting into per radians. This is alpha is equals to 8 degrees you have 1.1 1 .1 approximately minus one zero point two one divided by 8 into 5 by 180. So, this turns out to be 6.374. 6.374. Right. This is your Cl alpha 2D. And the other important, yes, once you have Cl alpha 2D, you can find out Cl alpha 3D, Cl alpha of this wing, this equals to Cl alpha 2D divided by 1 plus Cl alpha 2D. Okay. 6.374 divided by 1 plus 6.374 into 1 1 by pi e r is point zero point zero four six six. this equals to 6.374 this 4.7 4.91 4.91 2 3 so cl alpha per radian of this wing entire wing is 4.9123 you have Cl alpha here 4.9123 per radian. Right. Now, we need to find out what is Cl naught to find out Cl at different alpha as well as Cd at different alpha. Right. So, how to find Cl naught? The assumption that we make here is since we are making this wing out of this aerofoil. Right. So, we have Cl versus alpha plot. Right. This is for say aerofoil okay. and we are making this wing out of this aerofoil. The assumption here is the alpha at which C L remains C L is 0 for aerofoil will remain same as will remain same for the wing as well. Right. So, this is the point at which alpha C L is equals to 0 will remain same for wing as well as aerofoil this is the assumption. So, this is the alpha at at which Cl is equals to 0. So, this remains same for infinite wing and a finite aspect ratio wing as well as infinite aspect ratio wing. Right. Okay. Now, with this assumption we know what is Cl alpha of this curve. So, we got Cl alpha. 3D and you know this point, we need to find this point. So, this particular point is, is Cl alpha at which Cl is equals to 0 comma 0 and this particular point is Cl naught comma alpha is 0, 0 comma Cl naught, 0 comma Cl naught. So, you have two points, you know the slope like uh, you know you do not know one of the point here you can straight uh, straight away find this C L naught right. So, this C L naught is equals to so C L naught 3 D is equals to C L alpha minus C L alpha 3 D into alpha at which C L becomes 0 right. 
that is what you will end up solving that equation right. So, what is Cl alpha 3D here is 4.9123 into alpha at which Cl is equals to 0. So, from the aerofoil data we can find alpha at alpha at which Cl is equals to 0 is minus 2 degrees right. So, minus 2 is it right we need to consider we considered Cl alpha as 4.9123 per radian. So, you need to convert this alpha to from degrees to radians. So, this is 2 into pi by 180 0 0.1715 Cl. Now, substitute this in this equation 1 say this is your 1 and uh, say this is your 2 right. So, from equation 1 what we have Cl naught is 0 0.175 0 0.1715 plus Cl alpha is 4.9123 into alpha. Right. So, alpha should be in radians here and Cd is equals to 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0466 into corresponding Cl square. Now, we need to find this at 3 different trim conditions that is alpha 3 degrees, alpha 5 degrees, alpha 7 degrees. Now, if you substitute alpha 3 degrees what you are in. So, say this is alpha, this is Cl and the corresponding Cd. Say at alpha 3 degrees what you have Cl is what is 0 0.42, 0 0.4287 is the Cl and the corresponding Cd is 0 0.0286. So, at 5 degrees the Cl value is 0 0.6002 and Cd value is 0 0.0368 and at alpha, at alpha 7 degrees Cl is obtained as 0 0.7716 and Cd is 0 0.0478. So, all these values are obtained by using these two equations, right. So, what we have done given a wing planform geometry and Oswald's efficiency factor as well as profile drag coefficient. So, we we figured out what are the C L alpha of this wing and C D of this I mean C L naught of this wing and then we calculated what is the corresponding lift coefficient at different angles of attack as well as the drag coefficient at different angles of it. So, it is given that this aerofoil this wing is made out of made out of Naka 2412 aerofoil right. So, from this aerofoil data we have figured out what is the Cl alpha of this aerofoil and alpha at which Cl is equals to 0 for this. Aerofoil. So, using those two we found out Cl naught of the wing initially we figured out what is Cl alpha of this wing and then the Cl naught of this wing right. So, substituted those, those two parameters in this equation, we will be able to find out the corresponding Cl and Cd at different angles of attack. Now, what is the reason why we need to find Cl and Cd in the first case? Now, you will appreciate as we progress. Once we start discussing about the what should be the lift or design Cl right to sustain a particular weight at a, at a given altitude right, how to design the wing that means, how to select a planform geometry during that time you need to have a design CL, what should be your design CL right. So, when we discuss those concepts you will be you, you can appreciate this particular exercise and say which power plant do you need to select that requires the information of C D right. So, during various phases you need to move at different velocities and different flight conditions. So, which power plant to be used how do you find you first gather the information about what is the requirement of the system. The requirement of the system is drag. So, to calculate drag you need to find what is the corresponding C D. Now, let us consider this example to the C L design required to trim the following wing alone UAV at 3 degrees is estimated as 0 0.334. Suggest the aerofoil to be selected for this particular UAV right and it is also given 
C L alpha at which C L is equals to 0 is minus 2 degrees and the Oswald's efficiency is 0.75. Now, this is the plan form that has been given the UAV is, uh, is with the triangular plan form here right. So, we know what is the span of this and a leading edge sweep of 45 degrees is given right. With this information we need to find out we need to suggest an error foil which means how do you suggest an error foil? In terms of lift and drag characteristics right say lift characteristics here we need to give what is CL alpha 2D of the tear foil should be and say CL naught of the tear foil right CL naught 2D and say alpha at which CL is equals to 0 right this is already given because for wing as well as airfoil it will remain same here that is the assumption that we have ok. Now, first figure out what is given here like the span is 1.5 meters right. If I what is the relationship between C L alpha 3 D and C L alpha 2 D? C L alpha is equals to of wing is C L alpha of aerofoil by 1 plus C L alpha of aerofoil divided by pi e air. So, what you need is C L alpha 2 D right. How to find C L alpha 2 D? Plan form right with a span of 1.5 meters and leading edge sweep of 45 degrees and with the, and with the leading edge sweep of 45 degrees. Now, I need to find out what is C L alpha 2 D right of the aerofoil from the wing data. So, how to get wing data here in the first case? So, C L is equals to C L design is equals to C L alpha into alpha trim minus alpha at which C L is equals to 0. Can we do this? What does this equation mean? Assume that this is the C L versus alpha of your aircraft or the wing right. This is your C L versus alpha. The information that is given is C L design right. C L design is given as 0. 0, 0 0.334 and this design is achieved at an angle of 3 degrees at an angle of attack of 3 degrees. Say at 3 degrees, 3 degrees this is your C L D that means you know this point right and you have the information about this alpha at which C L is equals to 0 right. This point corresponds to alpha at C L is equals to 0 comma 0 you know this point that is 3 degrees comma C L design right. From here you can find out what is C L alpha slope of this curve right. So, so C L alpha of the wing is equals to C L design is 0.334 divided by divided by 3 minus minus 2 minus 2 degrees this implies C L alpha of the wing is 0.334 divided by 5 into pi by 180 which in radians. So, here it is in degrees it is per degrees here it is per radian which is equals to which equals to 3.8273 per radian right. Now, you have C L alpha 3 D. Now, can we find out C L alpha 2 D from here? So, how to do this? Can we manipulate this equation? This implies C L alpha into 1 minus 1 minus C L alpha 3 D. C L alpha divided by phi E A R is equals to C L alpha 3 D right. If you take this to the to your left hand side or multiply this equation by this denominator 
right so and then taking this second term to the left side uh, uh, to the right hand side so what you have here is so this implies cl alpha cl alpha 2d is equals to cl alpha 3d divided by 1 minus cl alpha 3d divided by phi e r now substituting this values of cl alpha 3d is 3.8273 and 1 minus 3.8273 divided by pi into what is Oswald's efficiency factor 0.75 into we need to find what is the aspect ratio of this wing. So, how to find aspect ratio of this wing? We know aspect ratio AR is equals to B square by S, right. So, we have the span, we need to find the area of this particular plan form. So, how to find the area? Half base into height, half span into say CR root chord here. So, what is the root chord here? So, when say this angle is 45 degrees, this is also 45 degrees. You know this span, you know this, you know this semi span which is 0 0.75, right. So, tan 45 is opposite by adjacent. So, this particular height will also become 0 0.75, tan 45 is 1, right. This, this particular height of this or the root chord of this triang of a triangular wing is 0 0.75. So, you have half base into height, you can simply substitute point, uh, 1.5 into 0 0.75. So, S is 0.5625 meter square, right. So, the corresponding aspect ratio is 1.5 meter square divided by 0.5625. This is 4, the aspect ratio turns out to be 4. Now, substituting this aspect ratio in this equation, you can find out what is Cl alpha 2D. Cl alpha 2D is 0.4459. Now, you are able to find what is the Cl alpha 2D of this airfoil. Now, we need to find what is the Cl alpha Cl naught of this airfoil, right. Say this is my airfoil data, right. Aspect ratio is infinite. Here we have aspect ratio is equals to 4. So, this way. So, now we need to find out this y intercept of this aerofoil. We know the slope of this aerofoil, just now we have figured it out as 0 0.46459. 0 so, we need aspect ratio to calculate that Cl alpha. So, we have figured out area from the given geometry, this is the relation, relationship we have started with. 2D CL alpha and 3D CL alpha. So, we figured out 3D CL alpha based upon the design CL as well as the angle of attack which this aircraft has to be trimmed or that CL design has to be achieved. Now, we have 2D CL alpha, right. You know the slope, you have this point alpha at which CL is equals to 0, right, which remains same for airfoil as well as wing, that is the assumption. Now, using the slope and this, we can find out what is the CL naught of that. So, C L naught of airfoil is equals to minus C L alpha of airfoil into alpha at which C L is equals to 0. This is minus 6.4459 into minus 2. minus 2 degrees. So, minus 2 degrees is given, is given in the question. So, this equals to, so this is in degrees, but the slope is in per radian. So, I need to convert it as, I need to multiply this by pi by 180. So, 0.225. Right. CL naught is 0.225 for an airfoil and so see, 
now let us see what is uh, what are alpha at cl is equals to 0 and cl not of aerofoil or say cl not and cl alpha for airfoil and wing so for aerofoil it is minus 2 degrees and yeah here it will be same what is cl not of airfoil is 0.225 what will be cl not of the wing so we can find out right that cl not is equals to minus cl alpha into alpha at which cl is equals to 0 you substitute the wing cl alpha you will get the corresponding cl point 0.1335 right and cl alpha of the wing is of the airfoil is 6.4459 of the wing is 3.8273 these are per radian per radian per radian per radian see lower the aspect ratio lower is the cl alpha of your wing you can observe that right here the same aerofoil is used to build a wing which is of lesser aspect ratio wing. So, aspect ratio is about 4 here. So, the CL alpha drastically reduced. Right. Now, say if I increase the aspect ratio, now let us consider example 3 here. Consider the following UAV is designed using NACA 653418 aerofoil. If the CL design of this UAV is 0.4, find the corresponding trim angle of attack. So, the plan form of this UAV is given, which is the which is of 2 meter span and 0.3 meters tip cord and the leading edge sweep of 31 degrees right. So, we need to find the trim angle of attack right first. So, if, if the CL design is known then we can express the CL of this wing as CL naught plus CL alpha into alpha CL alpha of the wing into alpha trim. So, this alpha trim is equals to C L design minus C L naught divided by C L alpha which is 3D of wing and this C L naught is also for wing right. Now, if I so what are unknown here? So, C L design is given which is 0.4 here and we need to find out what is CL alpha 3D and CL naught of this wing. So, another information given is airfoil right regarding airfoil which is used here is NACA 653-418. Now, we need to find out if to in order to find out CL alpha 3D we need to know what is the aerofoil CL alpha. Okay. So, as well as the aspect ratio and Oswald's efficiency. Say the Oswald's efficiency is about 0 0.75, right. So, we need to find the aspect ratio of this way. First, how to find the aspect ratio? We know AR is equals to B square by S. So, we need to find what is area here. So, to find out area I need the root code right I need to know what is this root code. So, how to find this root code? So, say this is say up to this it is 0 0.3 right. Say this entire thing is CR. entire chord at the root is CR. So, this is like CR minus 0 0.3 right. Now, I know leading edge sweep of 31 degrees. I know the span here which is 1 meter right. So, we know aspect ratio is equals to B square by S right. So, to find this aspect ratio I need to know the area here 
to find this area I need C R here. So, tan 31 degrees is equals to C R minus 0.3 divided by 1. So, this implies tan 31 is approximately 0 0.6 this C R minus 0.3 this implies root chord is 0 0.9 meters. So, C R here is 0 0.9 right. Once I have C R I can find out what is the area of this wing. What is area of this wing? B into C T plus C R by 2 which is equal to otherwise B by 2 into C R C R multiplied by 1 plus lambda. So, B is 2 meter span into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.9 by 2 which is 1.2 meter square. Right. So, substituting this span 2 meter square and 1.2 meter square area we will get to know what is the corresponding aspect ratio. So, aspect ratio here is 4 divided by 1.2 3.33. So, aspect ratio again is a low aspect ratio wing here it is a low aspect ratio wing UAV. So, you know what is aspect ratio? Now, what you need to know is C L alpha 2 D here this is C L alpha 2 D. Now, say let us go back to this aerofoil data NAC 653418 right. So, this is the airfoil. So, we can see here the variation of lift coefficient with angle of attack as well as pitch moment coefficient with angle of attack and this particular plot represents the drag polar and this is C m versus C L about C by 4 or the aerodynamic center here this is about C by 4 ok. Now, what I what we need to find out is C L alpha of this wing first. So, let us first consider what is C L at alpha is equals to 0 that is C L naught is 0 0.3 see this is a C L at which alpha is equals to 0 right. So, this particular point like this C L and alpha for 0 degrees this is 0 0.3. Now, how far we can consider this linear here? So, let us say if you look at this curve. So, we are talking about this curve at 3 million Reynolds number right. So, it is with circular marker and see if you consider that curve here how far this is linear. So, here about this point so, maybe up to this point we may consider this as a linear curve right straight line. So, the corresponding angle of attack is approximately 6 degrees. So, 6 degrees because beyond which there is a change in slope right it becomes non-linear. Now, at this 6 degrees angle of attack the corresponding C L value is 0.9. So, how to find out the C L alpha of this curve y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus x 1 that is C L at alpha is equals to 6 degrees is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.3 divided by 6 into pi by 180. So, what is the answer for this? 5.73. 5.73 radian right. Now, we got to know what is alpha C L alpha of this plot and let us also look at alpha at which C L is equals to 0. So, this particular point is the alpha at which C L is equals to 0 which is approximately 2 degrees right 2 4 6 8 ok it is approximately minus 2 degrees alpha at which C L is equals to 0 is equals to minus 2 degrees. Okay. Let us take this information and find out what is the C L alpha 3 D which is the C L alpha of wing made out of this aerofoil. Now, from here we got to know using this NACA 653418 C L alpha of this aerofoil is 5.7373 per per radian.
So, this is the C L alpha of this aerofoil. Now, substituting this in this equation, what you will get C L alpha 3 d is approximately C L alpha 3.3165. 3.3165. Right. So to calculate alpha trim, we need another variable here, CL naught, right? Or another parameter CL naught that we need to find out. So CL alpha is 3.3165. Now how to find out CL naught of this wing? Again from the airfoil data, we have alpha at which CL is equals to zero is yes, approximately minus two degrees alpha at which CL is equals to 0 is approximately minus 2 degrees which will remain same for wing as well as the aerofoil. Okay. Now CL naught of wing is minus CL alpha of wing into alpha at which CL is equals to 0. This equals to minus 3.3165 into minus 2 degrees into pi by 1 8 because this slope is in per, per radian right. So, the corresponding value of C L naught is 0 0.1157. Now, alpha trim can be estimated from this equation as C L design is C L design given is 0 0.4 that is C L design. So, given C L design 0.4 and E is 0.75 here. So, this is like 0.4 minus C L naught which is 0 0.1157 divided by C L alpha of this wing which is 3.3165. Angle of attack which? the aircraft will be trimmed to attain this particular CL.